now that I have finally finished my puzzle from Better Co, I wanted to talk a little bit about my experience with it. Um, one thing, or I guess the first thing I wanted to show you is the box. So it's a really nice box. It's very sturdy. And the biggest problem I had with this is the image wraps around the box cover and there's also the logo right on top of a portion of the image so that made doing the edge sections of the puzzle incredibly frustrating um i don't always refer to the puzzle box but this puzzle was challenging enough with all of the dark colors and the dark sections that i did really need and want to refer to the image as I was completing it. Unfortunately, because of the style of the box, it just made that really frustrating. I know some of you have gotten posters in your boxes. Mine did not come with a poster and I did mention that previously on Instagram um, and it just would have been nice to have a larger image that I could refer to as I was working on the puzzle. So the other thing, so with these pieces, the pieces themselves have a shiny finish, which is not my personal favorite style, but the way this puzzle is finished was really frustrating because I typically only am able to work on puzzles at night, which means I have to use a lamp. I do have an LED lamp that I use, and I also, you know, have like the normal overhead light. But I don't know if, if this video is going to show it sufficiently because this is um, like the middle of the day. But the way the light reflected just made it really, really difficult to see any of those little tiny details on the puzzle. I do have my um, buffalo piece and my Ravensburger piece to do a little comparison. So you can see the Better Co. These are all from 1000 piece puzzles. The Better Co puzzle pieces are a little bit bigger. Um, I would say in terms of the finish, it is really similar to Buffalo Puzzles, which are um, a brand that I don't necessarily gravitate towards other than when it comes to specific artists. As far as the thickness, let me see here if I can line these up for you. It does look like it's about the industry standard um, it's maybe just slightly thinner than both the Ravensburger and the Buffalo. One other thing that I wanted to mention about the puzzle, the image quality is fantastic. It's really clear. You can see all the details really well. Um, so all that being said, um, in my opinion, Better Co. is a pretty solid company. I can, you know, lift the puzzle up. It stays together pretty well. It doesn't, my fit is not as tight as you can see as what a couple other people have showed when they completed their puzzles. Pieces are coming off on it. It's not staying completely together, but I can move sections around, which is a plus. So personally, I probably won't do another Better Co. puzzle. I didn't really like the pieces themselves. Uh, I showed you how they're shiny. They're also, that top layer is, I don't know what it's called specifically. You can see scratches and indentations really easily on the puzzle pieces. So they get damaged pretty easily. I also had a few pieces where the layers are separating, which is just another thing that's kind of annoying and frustrating. Um, you can see here in this piece, the layers started to separate. 
and you can fix that with a little bit of glue. It's really not that big of a deal, but it's just one of those things that kind of annoys me because then you can see, at least on this piece, because it was, or it's been peeling, it also has a crease on it. It's just the, those little imperfections that happen with puzzles and it's not just this brand there's a bunch of brands where layers will peel and and you know you put a little dab of glue or whatever on it to put them back together but it's just something that kind of bugs me with puzzles I, I do do puzzles purely for fun because it's a great way for me to relax this one I did not find relaxing at all it was frustrating, it was annoying. I really did not like having to go piece by piece. I've done a lot of hard puzzles, but just like this one was just frustrating. Um, so the other thing is I prefer to do puzzles that have original artwork. I don't like sock photo puzzles, and that's what this is. And I have a couple other ones that are stock photo puzzles, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just a personal opinion. I prefer when I'm doing a puzzle to have something that's a little bit more original and unique that I'm not going to see anywhere else. So that's all my thoughts on Better Co. It is a solid company. Um, it's just not for me. So thanks so much everyone for watching. Have a great day, evening, afternoon, weekend, whatever day it happens to be. Bye.